Hey, what's up guys, and today I'm going to bring you the early access first impressions of Nightwolf in Mortal Kombat 11. I want to preface this by stating that uh, I've never really been a big Nightwolf user. He just wasn't my cup of tea with his moveset that he had. Uh, so I'm coming at this somewhat as a noob, so if the gameplay isn't up to your standards, I apologize for that in advance. Uh, he is my best friend's main character, but um, I tend to stick to other characters, but maybe that'll change in this game. So I guess we'll find out within this video. So let's just jump right in. So the first impressions that I have of Nightwolf off of the bat are that I needed to customize his moveset. <laughs> because the default one is good, and I know that you can only use default in ranked as, as of now, but I like more of his ranged moves than I do some of his like spirit power moves uh, like when he summons the strength of the bear or sends out the hawk things of that nature I tend to stick more to his lightning attacks or his um, his ancestral light move for example uh, I like his tomahawk uh, combos he does do a fair amount of damage he is pretty speedy if you can combo into an actual combo he has a, a back forward circle move that has him roll dive into the ground and he will then attack an opponent with an axe at the forefront of their feet. So that can actually set you up pretty nicely for some decent combos and it can also lead the way into doing a special attack or something of that nature. His special attacks are pretty good in this game. Um, I actually was surprised by how fluid he was compared to prior games. Maybe it's just that I'm not that experienced with the character personally, but I don't know um, I had a pretty easy time using him. There were some tough fights in his tower that I was getting a little frustrated with, um, mainly with Scarlet, uh, because she has a lot of ranged attacks and a lot of draw-in attacks, and with the default moveset that Nightwolf has, it was a little bit hard to counter those. I had a much easier time when I actually was able to customize the character. Uh, he does from the first tower get his second fatality which is pretty easy I'll show it on screen it's down 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 circle when you're close to the opponent and uh, he summons the spirit of the bear and like pretty much just rips the person in half I actually prefer it to the first one the first one is not that difficult to pull off also but the second one just is a lot easier and more fun in my just in my summation uh, the character does have some decent customization options. I'm also going to be showing that on the screen. Some of his customizations include like the wolf hat that we've seen in some of the, the trailers. And you can obviously customize his tomahawks. Um, I had fun customizing the character. I'm probably going to go back to the towers later on today and try to unlock more stuff for the character. Just so I can make him for a little bit more of my own. Because I only unlocked like the first three of each thing. But if it's to your liking, depending on what kind of a player you are, he is he's pretty much an all-arounder. Uh, he did get rid of some of his ranged attacks, it looks like, from prior games. Uh, I was looking for a tomahawk throw, and I couldn't find one. I know there's um, the arrows, which are pretty good, especially if you hold R1 and he shoots three at them. But the damage is minimal. It's mainly just to keep an opponent at bay if they're in the middle of a combo and you don't want to get attacked by it. So I can kind of see where a lot of people would have fun with that actual part of it. Uh, he does take some strategy and some getting used to. There is a learning curve when it comes to him, unless you're like a main with him in other games like I'm not. So there are some other good and bad features to him. Uh, his movement speed is kind of slow. It's not really like fast, some of the other like more nimble characters. He does have more of a, a bounce to his step, if you will. That's where that... Uh, back forward and circle move comes into play where you can actually traverse the area pretty quickly if you do that It does leave you open for a second afterwards though So it's not safe to use because it is punishable as well as his upwards tomahawk curvature throw I think it's like a moon throw or something like that I ended up taking that off of the character because you have to be a pretty fair distance away from them and it has to arch in the right angle just to be able to hit them and from what I've noticed, he stands in that upward pose for a little bit too long, and if the character just runs right underneath of it, it's highly punishable. I got caught with a bunch of um, finishers that way, and uh, it wasn't fun, especially with Scarlet. Uh, his stats seem to be pretty good. His attacks are decent. I, he doesn't do too much damage unless you're actually using the Tomahawks. Uh, I haven't tested all of his special abilities yet, just the ones that you've seen on screen. So perhaps that'll change if I actually get more in-depth into the character, which I plan on trying to do in the future. 
And uh, I would say he's a good all-rounder, and if you're willing to pick him up, he's definitely worth the price, especially if you have the early access, because he'll be free with the, uh, the DLC pack like most of us season pass holders have. And I would recommend the character. If there's anything else that I forgot, please leave it in the comment section down below, and I will try to check it up and make an update to that. And as well of everything that's in the, the links in my description box, and you'll find a link to my friend Rich at Ragaroth. You'll also find a link to his channel below. And thanks for this, guys, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.